guys, it's Freckled Mango, and today I have a two-part tutorial for Victor from Yuri on Ice. So the reason I have two parts is because I have two different ways of doing my makeup for Victor. Um, there's the more animated way and the more realistic way, like the way he would look like in real life, not in an anime. So part one is going to be the uh, anime version. Um, and part two is going to be the more realistic version. So yeah, make sure to watch both parts and I hope you enjoy. Alright, I'm going to jump right on in with the animated Victor. So I'm going to start off with a concealer under my eyes in a triangle shape. I use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic in Fair. Um, it's, it's really pale and I'm really pale, so it's a great shade for me. So I'm also going to put that all over the areas that my foundation isn't going to cover and then I'm going to blend it out with a dense brush. Next I'm going to go with my foundation. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 Porcelain. I really like this foundation because it's cheap and it's my shade and it has really good coverage. So I'm just going to dot that all over my face and blend it out with the same brush I used for the concealer and I'm going to blend that on my ears and down my neck um, just to make sure that all the surrounding skin matches my face. Now I am going to take my concealer again and just put it all over my eyebrows. I'm going to go against the grain of my eyebrows and then with it. Um, this is just to lighten them up a little bit. I already have fairly light eyebrows, but um, because Victor's hair is so light, I want to get them a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to go over any other spots and under my eyes that need a little bit more concealer and blend that out with my finger. I'm also going to take this little eyebrow brush I have and just blend the concealer into my eyebrows. And I'm also going to go over it with this uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to make them lighter. Next I'm gonna go over my face with some translucent powder with a fluff of fluff of brush just to give it a more powdery finish um, to help the contour blend a little better. Now I'm gonna use the Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette and I'm going to use a couple of the shades to contour my cheeks. Um, because I'm so pale I prefer to use a grayer brown than a warm brown. Um, but just use whatever shade works for you. I'm also using it to contour my nose and make it look a little longer and more slender and contour the hollows of my eyes a little bit. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Then go back into my eyeshadow palette to put a sort of peachy light color tone on my eyelids and under my eyes just to make it look more like my skin. And I'm also going to add a little bit of shadow. Now I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and a small angled brush and just start outlining my eyes. 
You can also use a black liquid liner for this. Um, I sometimes use one, uh, but I just find it a little harder to use. And I don't know about you guys, but I really, really struggle with getting my left eye and my right eye to match. Um, I don't know. It's just really hard. I find it takes a lot of back and forth and removing and adding, and it just takes a lot of work. So then I'm going to first go in with some brown mascara just so I can get a sort of lighter foundation on the eyelashes since his eyelashes are light. Then I'm also going to go in with a black mascara but only use that at the base of my uh, eyelashes. I'm going to try to put some white cream paint on my eyelashes just to lighten up the tips a little bit. This sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. I find it's easier to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to get this effect, which I do in my second part of the tutorial. Next I'm going to take a medium gray matte shade of eyeshadow and start filling in my eyebrows. Um, any sort of matte gray shadow should work for this, uh, just depending on what color your wig is and uh, what color eyebrow you're starting out with. Mm -hmm. 